So in this video, we're going to learn how to make a worm and wheel. We can see it completed here and animated. We have the worm that's driving the gear. Uh, the worm is producing or is going faster than the uh, gear, which is producing torque in this relationship. So to get started, we're going to uh, create a new part in Onshape or new document in Onshape. And we're going to start by creating that worm. The way that we're going to do this is we're going to lay a sketch down on the top plane. We are going to uh, orientate ourselves and we're going to draw a 0.75 inch circle and we're going to extrude this two inches. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to come up to our menu here and we're going to find the helix and we're going to uh, select the face of this and we want to have 10 revolutions across this. So we're going to go 10 revolutions here and then I'm going to green check mark this. Now I need to come back to that same tool but this time I need to grab a plane and what I want to do is I want to set a plane uh, to the edge of the helix. And then I need to come in and grab my vertices of my helix here. And then I'm going to uh, green uh, check mark that to have my plane laid down. And I have an error. Let's, so let's double check what that error is. I don't want it offset. I want it on the. Uh, I want it on the curve point. So what you're going to see is that plane is there, uh, and it's angled. So we're going to place a sketch down now on that plane one. I'm going to view this uh, straight on. So from my front uh, view, my sketch is on that plane one. And I'm going to come down here at the bottom and I'm going to draw that uh, first little uh, portion of the worm or screw. So I'm going to grab my line tool. I'm going to come here where they meet. And I'm just going to draw that general shape that I want. And then I'll dimension it from uh, there. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come up to my constraints and I want to make my um, two vertical portions of the triangle equal to each other. So that'll guarantee that I have my equilateral triangle or my two sides equal, not equilateral triangle. This bottom line I want to dimension right here. I'm going to dimension to 0.11. The angle that I want this to be, so I'm going to dimension this angle to this line here. Let's try this again. This angle to this line here. Let's try it again. Let's go from this point to here. There we go. Uh, you know what? I'll dimension the height first. So the height of this. I want to be uh, 0 0.055, and there we go. I won't even have to dimension my 45 degree angle now that I have the height and the base set. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come out of this sketch and keep that sketch there, and I'm gonna zoom in just so we can see that. I'm gonna click on my sweep button. Now I'm gonna click on my sketch two here for my sweep. My sweep path is the uh, helix that I've already created. Now, I don't want this as new. I want it to add. So I want to merge with my scope here with the existing cylinder that I already have. So then I can green check mark this. And we have our worm almost completed. So now we have to go to the top of this placing our sketch. We're going to place a center point circle there. And this center point circle, I'm going to make 0.25. And then we're going to remove that 0.25 of material. 